X3 producer comes bundled with the excellent Addictive Drums from XLN Audio. Addictive Drums is an advanced drum instrument that comes with three incredibly recorded kits, thousands of MIDI loops, and dozens of pro-sounding presets. It also allows you to mix and tweak in many ways to sculpt your own customized drum kit. Let's take a closer look. There are four different pages to view within Addictive Drums, and the initial view is the kit page. If it isn't visible, click on the kit button toward the top right. Here you'll see the kit graphics for the 12-piece kit with the current loaded sample indicated below each graphic. At the bottom is the mixer section, which as well as a strip for each of the main kit pieces has stereo strips for overhead and room mics as well as the send and master buses. The send bus can be used for setting up parallel compression. Click on it to reveal a send level control above the other strips. In addition to the usual mute, solo, and fader controls, there are buttons to turn on the insert and effects, sends, as well as changing phase. The out button assigns the output away from the synth's master bus and assigns it to its own dedicated out, which is then available for selection within Sonar as an input. Kits can be loaded as a whole using the kit selector at the top left. Click on it to reveal a menu with all of the available preset kits, as well as options to save your own presets. As well as direct selection from the lists, they can be stepped through using the up and down arrows. Once a kit or kit piece has been loaded, it can be played by clicking on the velocity-sensitive graphic. The higher up the graphic you click, the louder the kit piece is played. The best way to hear a whole kit in context is to click on the play graphic just left of the page selectors. This will play the kit using the current MIDI pattern. Let's start that playing and take a look at some of the other pages and controls. Each kit piece graphic has controls to step through available samples, mute or solo it, as well as adjust level. The toms also have a set icon so that they can be loaded as complete sets of the same drum type rather than loaded individually. For much greater detail on individual kit pieces, click on the load button toward the top left corner. This opens a kit selection window with all the available pieces for that slot, as well as detail on where and how they were recorded. Click on the edit button which opens the editing page for the currently selected kit piece. Use the buttons at the top of the mixer strips to change kit piece selection. The top half of this page allows editing of the raw sample. There are level controls for each mic, direct, overheads and room mics, as well as controls to adjust pan position and stereo width. There is a filter and an envelope section for adjustment of pitch, volume and frequency filter. For a completely unprocessed sound, turn the whole envelope and filter section off. In the lower half, the direct mic positions can be adjusted, as well as the processors on the insert. The snare even has a buzz setting, which adds in the snare rattle generated by other drum hits when the snare isn't being played for greater realism. If the insert for a kit piece is turned off, this area will be blank. But once switched on, the processors appear here consisting of a compressor, distortion, EQ, and saturation unit. In addition, there are controls for output as well as send levels to the two reverbs accessed from the FX page. Here the reverb type and parameters can be adjusted as well as EQ applied to the reverb. When this page is selected, a send level control appears above each mixer strip, allowing individual level adjustment to each reverb for even greater control. The final page is the Beats page. From here, the MIDI patterns can be filtered, sorted, loaded, and tweaked as required. To use a pattern in the project, click and drag it from this window to the required position on the timeline. Any changes made to the pattern in the Beat Transformer are applied to the file that is drag and dropped into Sonar, but not saved to the original pattern. To start and stop playback of addictive drums with Sonar's transport, click on the sync button. The tempo button just beneath that forces a pattern to play at the tempo of the project in Sonar rather than the pattern's original tempo. The MIDI mapping page can also be opened from here, where the kit pieces can be reassigned to the MIDI note of your choice. Addictive Drums, a fantastically versatile drum synth that's included with X3 producer version.